Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ego and Break. I'm your host, Dynamite J. Andrews, rocking that dude love look. So, <laughs> get the Mississippi Madman, Logan Creed, sitting yeah. on my side. And today we're going to talk wrestling. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, so, watch anything interesting? Uh, Ring of Honor, two of them. And, um, what was it called? Dark Side of the Ring? Yeah, but it had. The confidential with Conrad Thompson. That's what I was trying to think of. With Ric Flair's yeah. son in law. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, plus the guys that actually film and direct it. Yeah. And that, that's what I like is that behind the scenes stuff I thought was kind of cool. Right. If you were Conrad Thompson and you married into the Flair family, would you change your name like Mike Bennett that time in WWE where he took the girl's name? I'm going with no. Conrad Flair. God. I think that's Conrad. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Dye his hair blonde too? <laughs> He's already got his robe and his belt. I mean, and his daughter. Well, <laughs> he looks like Flair before he got in shape. <laughs> you ever seen him old pictures of Flair? Like, he, he don't even look like Flair. Yeah, he, he looked different. Like he had side boobs. I mean, he did not look like Ric Flair. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. So no, I'm digging those. I like the little added bonuses. I really wish there was more bonus to it. Like the bonus stuff is real short. Um, but you do get to some things that they like they said they wish they could have put into the episodes yeah. Just couldn't make, well, make it work. So it's money. I mean and if you ain't got the money you try to put it on the free stuff on YouTube, right? So it's very very cool um, Definitely recommend people to do it. Did you learn anything in that that you didn't already know? Not really. It was kind of the same stuff, but I wish they would have went into well, again I, It's budget, but and also it, it had just happened, but with animal passing away. Yeah like they didn't know, you know, that was going to happen. I mean, that could have been filmed before, you know. It was. It was I mean, it right was. when it happened or whatever. Yeah, but that was the reason they like did it was because it was a like it just happened. All right, they asked a question: uh, Who? What was the better inception of the, the LOD? Was it with LOD with Heinrich and Animal, or was it Hulk and the uh, Suzuki? 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 Suzuki. Suzuki guy, the Hellraiser, yeah. power warrior. I mean, I have to be honest, I never saw any of that. So I would have to say hiding like an animal. <laughs> I mean, I really would. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I, I think I've seen it. one match, and I dug it because they were doing the LOD without doing LOD. Like, they called it, you know, Hellraisers or whatever. Um, and I kind of dug that. Let me ask you this. I know uh, Animal has a son. That is like a football, NFL football star guy or whatever. Let's say he leaves there and he comes to WWE wants to grab him and uh, and someone else. Is there someone out there now you think could be with him to fit that gimmick? Me? I had one guy that came to mind. Like a new Hulk? Yeah. Me? Or, or you know, just that muscled up, you know, both guys kind of giant, just head smashers. God. To me, I thought like, uh, I thought of Otison. Otis is not bad, but... I don't know if I was gonna put two together, I would think look like him because I seen his son. He's a big guy, but he's, he's still isn't as big as his dad. Yeah, right. Like, if well, I, he's probably hadn't had as many steroids as his dad. I was just gonna say, <laughs> if I was trying to make my own version of LOD, or at least that kind of gimmick, I would say uh, Odin should be a good one, and I would grab a uh, Hammerstone. Oh yeah. I mean them two muscle That'd be cool. Who in the cool. world's gonna take that on? Would it would it be the two guys that just got unmasked on Raw and they come out looking oh, like one of them looked like a damn eighties dancer out of a Prince video. <laughs> I legit put that on there and everybody's like, Wow, you're right. And I was like, Thank you. But hey, everybody was hating on like the what was the team that everybody was saying was trying to rip off L O D here a while back? And then they ended up getting fired. Viking. No, not, no, the, not the Viking. Oh, the two. The really, Ascension. The Ascension, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this is like the Wish version of the Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> they were all, I mean. Like, if the Ascension no. was the bootleg version of, it was like, then this should be the bootleg version of the bootleg. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they say, okay, we're going to take off these crappy masks, and then you're like, like you see the design of their face paint. And then everybody's like, like, put the mask back oh, on. Oh, dear God, the masks were better than this crap. <laughs> I like the one guy looks pissed off and the other guy looks like he's waiting on Prince's video to kick on and he just start dancing. <laughs> I was like, this is That's awful. 
Yeah, the one that looks mad, he looked like he got mad, but he was sweating yeah. and then walked through like a con confetti bomb or whatever or something. He's got like sprinkles on. <laughs> but I mean, everybody was crapping on it. It wasn't just me. No, it's horrible. So, I was like, what happened? And that's like the, like, oh, like Dominic, what was he in NXT? Dominic Dijakovic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, words are hard. Um, no, lambs are hard. But yeah, like in Ring of Honor, he was like Donovan Dijak. Now, like slapjack and <laughs> T bar or something. Or Mason T bar. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> so it's freaking horrible. <laughs> but yeah, so uh yeah, so the dark side confidential, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean God. I mean <laughs> bottom fungal with that mess. Baffled him. Yeah, so uh, Ring of Honor. What'd you think? Thumbs up, thumbs in the middle, thumbs down. This week, straight thumbs down. Thumbs down. Well, I was in the middle. Oh. There was a couple things I liked, but uh, overall, I just eh. it was, uh, it was just... the first match. I thought was good. The first yeah. match was Eli Isom and uh, the Mile High Magnum Dak yeah. Draper, and I thought that was okay. I mean, it had good stuff in it for sure. And then, but when it ended in a time limit draw, I was like. Why are they doing this again? They just did this with O'Shea and the the Sledge guy. Right. Like, are they gonna do the same exact thing here? And uh, that's when uh, the party the party peacock guy came out. That's what they're with, doing I'm with like, his what clappers. What the hell's going on? And uh, did Dalton you hear Castle. that peacock noise before yeah. he come out? I was like, what the <laughs> hell is that? So he comes out, and I thought he was gonna try to recruit him for like the six man gimmick too. or whatever. And I was like, you know, I was like, I can see Dak Draper being with him. I don't really see the Eli thing. So I'm like, and then they turned on Eli, and I was like, oh, that's smart. Yep, and he, he well, turned on a participation trophy. <laughs> and then he turned on Dak Draper. So I was like, yeah. and he's like, I'm a busy man. I got to get out of here. <laughs> and he dances back to that. I was like, what did I just watch? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I just, I dug it. I so. mean, it was okay. That was probably the best thing on the show, to be honest. Would you say it? <laughs> yes. Uh, then we get some promos and stuff, and uh, well, there was a promo about basically the same thing they said last week, but just saying it again in a different way. Uh, you know, where is uh, what's his name that looks like uh, Rob Zombie? Oh, the Vincent guy. Yeah, Vincent. You know that little promo. I didn't really get it. Well, didn't he leave like a loser leaves town match or something? I don't know. I, but we got to see a, a new guy, Dutch. Dutch. I hadn't seen I him. I've never seen him. He uh, looked like a. Uh, again, somebody from a Rob Zombie movie. He really does. You know the dude that like slaps people on Facebook, like, like they had the slapping contest and like the guy. Oh yeah, out. yeah, yeah. He yeah, kind of yeah. looks like that guy. If that guy wore overalls. Oh, ah, okay. Um, yeah. Like just to me, that's who he resembles. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Yeah, uh, that guy's like Russian or something. Yeah, well, this guy, a Dutch maybe too. Who knows? Well, he might be. He may be from from. Dutch. He had little stringy hair down his hair. <laughs> he looked like. Uh, The redneck guy used to wear overalls in WCW. Dutch Mantel? Not Dutch Mantel, the other one. I can't think of his damn name. I ever come to Bunkhouse him. Buck? Bunkhouse Buck, yes. Because was like he was always going bald, but he had like in nine hairs he had strained <laughs> around in front of his face. But he reminded me of that. But, but got, I mean, but bigger. Yeah, we got that. We got some uh, promos from LFI and Violence Unlimited. Um, I'm sorry. I, I like Homicide as a wrestler, but I hate hearing promo. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell he's saying. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, well, somebody give this man some subtitles. <laughs> y'all do it for delirious. I mean, if y'all can do it for him. Like, what did he say? All I got was he's a ghost. What? That's all I got. I'm a ghost. I'm sitting there. I'm like, what did this dude just say? I watched it twice trying to figure it out. <laughs> well, you know, you got to be able to speak right. homicide. <laughs> you have to understand it. But uh, basically, they said the same thing they had said last week, the week before, or whatever. And everybody in that promo was yelling. Yeah. Except for uh, they're, they're tattooed mad. man. They're mad. So. I'm like, bro. Yes. <laughs> but uh, we get Beer City Bruiser out, and he jobs out a guy in like one move. I, I think it was a full match, but we only saw one move. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. And then, like, students came out to stop him from beating stop, up their stop, student stop. friend. And then you hear crash. And then student friend attacks other students, and they join. one of the guys joined Beer City Bruiser. I'm excited. The guy he's got now does like he could beat Can somebody up. Can I promo, up. though? God, his promo was awful. But I think his name's Ken Dixon. Is that right? Uh, yeah. He said, like, eight words, and he goes, and that's it. 
<laughs> and that's it. And she kind of looks at him and is like, okay, I'm like Beer City talk now. Because <laughs> the little old girl just looked like, I uh, think he's lost. Yeah, so I'm interested to see that. Uh, Beer City, I guess, is going yeah. full heel now. And, uh, yeah, so that was what it was. It wasn't a lot, but it, you know, it just introduces a new team. Yeah. And then we get the six-man match, right? Yeah. With LFI for versus Unlimited. Get a, get a brawl, then a brawl, then a brawl, and then the foundation come out, and they all brawl some more. And I quit paying attention and stopped hey, you watching. You didn't miss so. nothing. That was all that happened. I, was, I don't know if anything else happened or and not. And then they pushed for, uh, uh, what was the little bitty guy that got put into the Tony Devitt. Tony Devitt versus, uh, uh, what's the team? Foundation guy. The foundation guy with the arm, the shoulder. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Tracy Williams. Thank you. Fuck, I'm so bad with that. <laughs> anyway, hot sauce. But, I, I mean, it could be a very, very good match. Yeah. I'm um, saying so I'm okay with that match for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully it won't end in like crazy brawls and all that no, stuff. So I, I hope not. What do you think else? Uh, I sent you the th the highlight of a uh, Orange Cassidy versus Pentagon. What did you think about that? After it got past the, oh, you have me in the arm bar, you're fixing to break my arm, and then I, mm, to my pocket and to reverse a move. After that, I thought it was a good match. I thought it was a cool block. I mean, it fit his gimmick. <laughs> I mean, when your nickname is I thought he was going to grab his hand and do that, and he's going, <laughs> what is he doing? What were they going to do again? Show, show uh, pop time. lock and shit, ain't that what's going on? Uh, I did what you were doing. I thought she was having convulsions over there. <laughs> you were trying to dance up there. Oh, that's what I am white. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Um, yeah, leaves my Indian blood don't save me on dancing. Yeah. I mean, I, I dug, I dug the reversal. I mean, I thought it was very unique to his character. Um, I'm sure Jim Cordette loved it as well. Oh, so. I bet he shits all over that on his damn show. <laughs> oh, um, oh, corny. He so, calls him pockets. Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it fits. I mean, he he calls other people worse names than that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't watch a whole bunch this week. Um, I said I watch more documentary stuff than I did that. Honestly, I watched more Luthes. I've really gotten into the Luthes style of wrestling, uh, um, and I say Luthes, but it's that 1950s, 60s style. Like it's just so, it's so cool to see like people dressed up in suits and stuff coming to the events, and it just shows you how far we've came away from then, where you know one wrestling was believable. Uh, two, the wrestlers themselves were believable, but three, it was it was a big thing. Like people like got dressed up to go out. You know, we take we take like going out. You know, I guess we take advantage of the fact that we can do it anytime we want. Where yeah. they had like you know it was an event. You know what I mean? Like just to go out to eat or whatever, they would dress up in their Sunday finest. You know, yeah. and now we go out to eat in pajama pants. You know, yeah, Walmart. <laughs> With yellow do rags on there you go. <laughs> and tie dye shirts. So. I said, I thought you had a like five dollar fucking five dollar foley when you come out your car. <laughs> it's my new name, five dollar foley. Like, Welcome to the five dollar. I mean, I looked at the dude love music and was playing it as he walked up. So, so I'm gonna title this as five dollar foley. <laughs> dude love, but uh. I did watch Dan Housen unbox uh, some Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What'd he get? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. That's why surprising, I said Ninja right? Turtles. Surprising. Well, surprising, yeah. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, he's a huge toy collector, and he's a comic book collector. He's done his own comic with War Horse. I bought that as... Did you? Really? Way, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the War Horse is coming Let's to... Uh, autograph. To Battle Zone soon. Yeah, yeah. Just bought the Rock and Roll Express comic book as well. So you're going to get that autograph too? Yeah. And then I bought well, tell, that. About, tell, tell us about some of the names that are coming to Mississippi since you're in uh, high cahoots with Battle Zone. Yeah. All right. So I uh, got the Rock and Roll Express coming in. That's an Ego Battle Zone show. Uh, it's going to be happening in Pearl June 17th, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so excited to see that. That's going to see the gonna Leading Edge reunite. Yeah, Monty Warbucks and Calvin Rhodes. And as far as I know, this may be like the first time in several years that they've tagged. Uh, at least five, I'd say. Yeah. So they're going to take on the Rock Hall yep. Express. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, as of 
just a friend and a fan is the leading edge. I know for a fact this is a match that Monty Warbucks has right. always wanted. Right. Like this is his dream match. I know that for a fact. Uh, so that's happening. I actually June. do want to try to go to that show and like have an actual sit down interview with him and Calvin about yeah. it. Yeah. And if you and have a kind of an interview with them, that'd oh be no, it'd be great too. I don't know what it'd cost me. But a life in a headlock with them yeah, would be awesome. Would be very cool because that's been a hell of a life. <laughs> yes, it has. Uh, we got that. Got um, James Storm coming up in May in Raleigh. So uh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Cowboys. What was the first time you heard of James Storm? Ron Horn was the reason I heard of James Storm first. Like Ron knew him somehow personally. Well, because they worked shows together. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Like, that, you know, uh, Ron was always in the back of battle zone. He would tell James Storm stories all the time, and I was like, "Who the hell is James Storm?" And now I got to see him on TNA. Right. And I was like, "Oh, okay, this is who he's talking." I mean, I about. guess my first experience with it was just seeing the uh, America's Most Wanted. Oh, okay. So, but it's cool to see him coming in. Um, got Gary J and Warhorse coming back. Yep. So that's oh, that's boy. pretty fun. Is that an actual match? Uh, not against each other. Oh, damn. Um, Warhorse, I believe, is going to face, I don't know, maybe JD or maybe Nightmare, maybe Wes, I don't know. Somebody. Somebody yeah. Um, so that's happening. Um, Frightmare of Chikara fame is making his way down. Um, Johnny Swinger, who is on Impact now, uh, ECW guy, yep. uh, he's going to be here um, coming up. Uh, who am I missing? New Jack. New Jack is coming in. New Jack. Uh, so that's going to be pretty scary. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think New Jack would be cool, but as I told you, if I was booking him personally, I'd have brought him in with rock and roll because yeah. New Jack has even credited them as the people that taught him how to wrestle right. more or less. He's like, I knew what I was doing, but they helped me perfect what yeah. I was doing. I uh, got the women's event coming up in September. So that's so, going to be a whole women's show. Whole women's now, is that tournament. Ba that's just battles on? Yes. Okay. Uh, Southern Bell Cup Southern. or something similar to that. Southern Slam, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So uh, pretty excited for that. Um, that's been something we've been trying to do for yep. years, though, to be honest. Yep. It just costs a lot. It but, does. you know, it's happening. Uh, I believe that's September 18th, I believe. Okay. Um, Odison is coming in. I like Odison. So I know that's happening. Um, I think I slide him a 20, he'll do it to Pharaoh, the F500. F10. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'll call it F500 if he does it at home. Pro Pharaoh. Probably, probably cost at least 40. 40? So, I'll yeah. do 40. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Joey, uh, Joey Abel's got some things lined up that he's working on. So, uh, pretty excited to see that. He is, he is uh, working on doing uh, Ultimate X. Uh, got Petey Williams coming in. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's one year I was trying to think of. Too. So, uh, yeah, exciting things coming to Mississippi the next year. So, so wrestling's actually picking back up. Yep. You All actually right. had a show that had how many people, did you say? Uh, around 150. 150. Yeah. I mean, give or take. Yeah. Uh, it was a fundraiser, so there was a lot more tickets sold, but just most people just bought it at home. That's cool. Um, but also, there was like a big like youth rally. Uh, uh, Disciple now or D now or something like that that a bunch of the churches did. Oh, okay. So, but you know, overall, I mean, I was extremely happy with the turnout. Uh, can you give us the results of the oh, show? Oh, absolutely. Uh, John Davis defended the FIP title against Vordell Walker. Full Impact Pro. What'd I say? FIP. FIP. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying what it stands for. Yeah. The heavyweight title. Um, insane uh, match. Vordell Walker hit John Davis with the reverse Hurricanrana. Which that was, was scary, man. Which was insane. John, I hope you're walking okay. Uh, at some point, John Davis had Vordell upside down in a trash can. So, you know. <laughs> um, so that Good was old fun. family violence. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, con congrats to J.D. Jenkins. Uh, he unified the Mississippi title with the Pride title in Ego. And uh, so we now have a pro wrestling ego Mississippi champion. We unified those two belts and become just a Mississippi Heavyweight Championship. Are you going to use both belts or just one? Uh, we're getting a new title okay. created. Yeah. Um, but we had a little uh, spur of the moment thing. Uh, and sorry, I can't remember your name. I call him X. Uh, he told me how to pronounce it, but I could not pronounce it <laughs> off the top of my head. Um, we're he sorry. walked out with a bag full of money and said, I don't have a title, so nothing to unify, but I do have a sack full of money. 
Uh, if mm -hmm. you guys want to make this a triple threat, every, you know, winner takes all. Uh, the other two guys, Colt Storm being the third guy, Mississippi champion, or former Mississippi champion, uh, him and JD accepted. So we had a triple threat match for the main event. It's pretty awesome. And uh, there was at, there was at some point where JD gave the Jinkinator to Colt Storm on top of X. Oh. So uh, Al for somebody for sure. But uh, both. But a heel hook submission, JD unleashed, and uh, yeah, got the victory. Nice. So that was awesome. We got to see the debut of Jake Braddock as he took on RJW, and uh, RJW defeated Jake Braddock. Brawl. 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 And then uh, the Pharaoh Funk was talking to some Pharaoh Filth. Filth. Let me correct myself. Filthy Funk. Filthy Funk and Filthy Pharaoh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> funky, that's pretty good. <laughs> Funky, filthy, right, favorite. I have my moments. Uh, triple Elf. <laughs> <laughs> triple Elf uh, came out talking smack to the coach as the coach was a old coaches announcing new coaches, old coaches moving to a different school. Uh, our current coach. Oh, okay. okay. Football coach. So passing to the tour. For the school, yep. Introduced them. Favor uh, came out, talked smack. Uh, basically, Sammy Wright, who had graduated from McGee. Uh, came out, took up for the town, took up for the school. The coach appointed himself a special guest referee, and you know, we had we had ego to decide. You know, hey, if you want to make a challenge, they want to accept it, let it be. So Fabro accepted that he could be the referee, and uh, yeah, it backfired and he lost. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Funky filthy Fabro was, but but he at least fought. He didn't run away like a chicken. It was cool. Um, I think move of that match was Sammy did like a springboard up to the top rope her karana onto the funky one Jesus. the filthy one and rolled through and as they come up Sammy hit him with a super kick in the face it's pretty cool Sweet. Um, but then Pharaoh, always one kick Pharaoh in the face Pharaoh showed that he Pharaoh ain't as weak as face. he looks as Sammy went for another her karana Pharaoh blocked it and dead lifted Sammy back up to a power bomb, which was pretty freaking awesome. Um, so old Filthy at least has a few tricks in his book. Filthy, funky Pharaoh. Funky, filthy Pharaoh. Filthy, funky yep. Pharaoh. Yep, triple F. Yeah. So uh, yeah, overall it was pretty cool. So uh, a big night, four matches, but uh, four matches rocked. You know, All right, that's what it was. Okay. It rocked better than the music as the sound equipment quit working. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I burn it up or uh, the one thing you can say about <laughs> Southern wrestling, they use it in for sound messages. Show goes on. The show goes